So I got into a fight on the X app yesterday. <laughs> okay, not really a fight per se because I did not retaliate. I only said, or rather tweeted what had to be tweeted, right? I only tweeted what was on the mind of many people watching the show. And that sort of struck a chord in the shallow minds of certain fanatics. So it was wild. <laughs> it went down. But I'm not going to talk about it on this video. I'm only going to talk about it tomorrow during our live conversation. So please come through. 3 p.m. WAT is the time. Let's talk about it. Let me share with you my experience on the X app yesterday. It was quite interesting, to be honest, and I can't wait to have that conversation with all of you. So guys, make it a date. Don't miss out. Trust me, you, you don't want to miss out. <laughs> There's a lot of tea to be spilled. <laughs> all right. But aside that, certain things happened in the house yesterday. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, Glory, you no longer post a lot of videos. You used to put, post a lot of videos a day. What's going on now? You do maybe just one or two videos. Guys, <sighs> it's a lot. My apologies, guys. I'm going to repeat what I've been saying, that the show is becoming repetitive. Yeah, the same old type of, you know, drama, the same the same storyline, the same plot just keeps on going in circles and circles, recircle drama, recircle everything. And the show is beginning to, it, not it's beginning, it's been revolving around one or two particular people. And it's becoming really boring. I'm, I'm not even gonna hold back this time. It's becoming really boring. But some things happened yesterday evening, and that is all I'm gonna be spilling to all of you on this video, right? So please make sure you watch to the end. Do not skip out on any part, all right? And officially, you're all welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, and I am the girl with the T. Um, for those of you that are new here, you are especially welcome. For those of you that are yet to become a part of this community, please go ahead and subscribe. All right, now quickly, let's get on with the business of this video. Okay, so yesterday was their wager task presentation. And as I've shared with you all before, um, the instructions was for the housemates to be paired, you know, in twos, and they were to perform a love song. Now, according to Big Brother's requirements, it did not matter how they sounded. <laughs> yeah, what mattered was the performance, the chemistry, and how they were able to interpret the song. I don't know if he added that part, but that seemed to be um, one of the major problems that they had, you know, that kind of led to them losing their wager. I'm gonna give kudos to the housemates for their performances because, hey, they all tried. They all tried. Although there were some that actually outdid others, but at some point, I was kind of confused. Because one, I did not understand the songs. The songs, most of the songs were actually in the South African vernacular. Yeah, so I did not understand what was being said in the songs. Yeah, all I could just depend on was the choreography and the performance, the theatrics that, you know, the housemates were actually delivering on that stage. Yeah. Now, it was only just a few pairs that gave proper interpretation of the lyrics of the song, you know. They were able to properly act it out so that we could understand what they were doing. Jari and Mpumi, they really tried with their interpretation, although I don't know. I even had to put out a question on the X app asking what the song meant, if it was a song of heartbreak or what and people said yes i said okay fine and good because she actually taught this guy a dirty slap on that stage i'm like oh wow <laughs> kind of looked personal you know but they tried with their interpretation of the song there was also z and papa ghost there was um who else Lerato and makeke they really tried now for the others i'm not really sure what they were doing but at some point 
it now felt like they were kind of trying to give us a stripping show because beginning from Yolanda and Taki and then Els and Mark Jr., as a matter of fact, I actually really enjoyed Els and Mark Jr.'s performance, but you know, there was Els and Mark Jr. Most of the pairs, I felt like they were doing too much. Yeah. You know, one minute they are wearing their traditional fits and looking all prim and proper, and the next minute they are stripping. So it now felt like everybody wanted to strip and all whatnot. So I don't know, Sha. I can't really judge because as I said, most of the songs were not sung in the English language, they were actually sung. So I can't really interpret. It, 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 as a lay person, I would think that the singers were saying, oh, it's time for you to strip. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But um, I did not really feel bad for them losing their wager. Because frankly speaking, I don't think they actually understood the assignment of this task. I don't think they actually did because there was a bit of a disconnect. Aside the stripping, teasing, whatever, whatever that the guys did, you know, the previous night, which was wow, by the ways, there was a bit of a disconnect, you know, looking at the fact that it is a love week. And so they lost their wager. And, you know, quite typical of the housemates, they started the blame game, started blaming Mac Jr. And it felt like Mac Jr. was running away, you know? So the guy at some point went to go stay, like more like finding shelter, you know, um, along the corridors of the diary room. Like the guy just went there and stayed there, you know, and at some point was in the kitchen alone, looking really isolated, you know? But anyways, before the wager task presentation, one or two things had happened. Emma had been informed that she had lost her grandmother in the morning. She had cried and Jari had offered her a shoulder to lean on. And it led to some sort of intimacy between them. She had stripped him off his panties in the toilet, right? She had stripped him off his panties and then it had led to both of them getting into Jari's bed and it looked like they were actually shagging, but I'm not really sure. I wasn't in between them, so I can't tell if they were shagging or not, but it was quite intense. But you see that whole episode of her losing her grandmother and her moaning instead of mourning, it caused a lot of conversations online, which is also part of the reason I got into a fight on the X app. So we're going to talk about that one tomorrow. Now, why did I make reference to that? After the wager task, it was a pool party. And Big Brother had actually announced to the housemates that they need to give a show, you know, they need to enjoy the pool party, that kind of thing. Because he knew that if he did not give them that sort of instructions, you know, because of how sad they were feeling about losing their wager, the party was going to be boring. Anyways, they tried to give their best to the pool party. They tried having fun. But during the pool party, regardless of the fact that he had had an intimate moment with Liema on his bed, like these two people were literally doing the most. Jari had been caught up in the dressing room. I mean, despite the fact that he had had that very intense moment with Liema right before the um, wager task presentation, Jari had had a kissing moment with else in the dressing room guys it was serious it was really serious and you see yeah <laughs> oh my god i was just looking at else and i'm like this girl is dangerous because guys if you will recall the previous evening you know when jari was having a jacuzzi moment with mpumi else was one of the people that was seriously advising liema you know, about being strong, you know, don't mind him, blah, 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 blah. But then the funny thing is the stripping thing happened and Liam and Jari, they got back again, you know, and then <laughs> there they were. That's Els and Jari kissing in the dressing room. Now they kissed in the dressing room and then they went back, they went back outside and Jari continued as if nothing had happened. Anyways, fast forward to after the pool party, um, Els and Jari, they had had another moment again inside the toilet this time around. And a very brief conversation ensued. Mary 
was telling else that she doesn't know how to keep a secret and that is why he has not moved on to her yet and else was like oh why should that be a secret i thought you people had broken up you know and shari was like eh, liema is going through a lot right now and she has put me to deal with you know so they, remember this guy had already said on wednesday during his diary session that he likes Liema Mpumi and Els. So he's trying to start off his ship with Els already. So they've been having a lot of conversations and they've been they've been getting really close. They've been getting really close. Anyways, they were inside the toilet having that conversation and also kissing at the same time. Now whilst that was going on, Liema came into the toilet and she was using the last toilet, like two toilets away from the one where um, Els and Jarid were in. Those ones did not know. And I doubt if Liema was actually aware that those people were in there because she would have gone crazy. Now they were in there. Jarid was the first to come out of that toilet. He looked around, he didn't see anybody, then he left, went outside. And Bumi stay, um, um, Els rather, stayed for like maybe some one minute or thereabout and then she came out she was washing her hand and then liema came out i was about to go out now liema did not suspect anything she didn't see anything she went outside and else smiled <laughs> now taki had noticed what was going on i was just shocked anyways liema had gone back to the jacuzzi now before that whole thing even happened jari was spending time smoking with Mpumi. And you see, yeah, when I tell you guys that Jared is actually running a very, very serious shift in that house, you know, you have time for this one, I have time for that one, I have time for that one. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Now, after spending that kissing session with Els, Jared had gone into the jacuzzi to go and meet Liema. Now, they were having a lengthy conversation and it was quite sad that we could not really hear everything they were saying because remember they are, they are inside the jacuzzi and they cannot use their mic inside the jacuzzi and i don't know guys i don't know why big brother did not tell them sooner to go back into the house so that for whatever reason they would continue that conversation you know with their mic but they were saying a lot and it, from everything they were saying the literal i could hear it was very obvious that we we're talking about this their relationship again and the boundaries and whatnot i think jerry that actually mentioned elsie's name and i think i also heard him say that ever since liema said they should be friends he doesn't know how to move anymore you know i think he also mentioned that there's else in the picture now you know so guys they were saying a lot of things but it wasn't really audible i could not really hear everything they were saying anyways afterwards they had come back into the house and liema once again had moved on to you know continue her flirting and conversations with mac jr ladies and gentlemen <laughs> that's what's going on right now jared has extended his family there's no longer just um Liema and umpumi he's gradually bringing else into the picture and as i put out on twitter yesterday guys else is that dead devil that you do not see coming she's very dangerous that girl she's very very dangerous you know and i must give it to her she's a player when she says that she left her emotions at home before coming into the house she wasn't really joking <laughs> she wasn't really joking at all at all now aside this people's situation there was also yolanda and willie kissing passionately in the jacuzzi and guys whilst that was going on the one person i kept on thinking about was makeke but it seemed like makeke either did not see them or he did not mind and guys i'm like oh my god there's a lot going on in this house in terms of kissing 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 people now there was also z and sinai i also forgot to add that z and sinai also won um the title of the valentine's day king and queen you know because of their scores um from their speed dating activity and in a way it kind of brought both of them together because afterwards um they were able to have conversations about um what had actually happened you know in that period they were not talking to each other anymore and quite frankly i don't know what will be the way forward for these two people's relationship because 
Um, it's very obvious now that Sinai has been enjoying spending a lot of time with Millet, which he did, you know, because of the pairing that had been done for their weekly wager presentation. Now, personally, I am looking forward to seeing if Sinai will be daring enough to pursue something with Millet or if he will continue from where he stopped with Z. All right. Anyways, guys, that is all for this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you guys on another video. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.